Hello students, welcome to the course Verilog HDL. In the previous two videos, we started off with exercises and we have seen only the gates. Okay, so first part we have seen the uh, your own and or not and XOR gates and uh, yesterday we have seen the previous video we have seen the full ladder circuit. Okay, so in this video we will be seeing the uh, circuit with delays now. Okay, so one example we will see just the uh, rise delay, fall delay, and turn off delay. And second uh, exercise, we will see the minimum, max, and typical values. Okay, so note down the question. The logic diagram for an RS latch with the delay is as shown below. Okay, so delay is included in the gate itself. Okay, so one second delay, one time minute delay for both the NOR gates. So this is an RS latch. So set and reset are the inputs and Q and Q bar are the outputs. Okay, so very simple circuit. Okay, so question is not over. So still it is there. So this is just a circuit now. So I will go, you can pause the video and note down the question. So for this, write the very log description for the RS latch. Okay, and include delays of one unit when instantiating the NOR gate. So two NOR gates are there, very simple design. So when calling that gates, you need to include the one second delay. Okay, write the stimulus module for the RS latch. So you have to write a stimulus module and using the following table, verify the outputs. Okay, so these are the inputs you need to pass. That is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So RS latch means it is a very simple circuit, right? So 0, 0 means there is no change in the output. So whatever previous output was there, if it is 0, 0, 1 is there, 1. So that it will come over, okay? So this is nothing but next state here. QN plus 1 means next state. So this is the present state, okay? So it will not change the output. 0, 1 means it will 0. 0, 1 means 0. That means it will reset the flip-flop. Okay, so one zero means it will set the latch. Okay, so in RS latch, so one one is it is an unknown value. Okay, so it is an illegal uh, transition. So one one is not used it's because it will not give a proper answer. It may give one also, zero also, x also, whatever. So that's why this is illegal in uh, SR latch. Okay, only three you will see zero and one and present state. Clear. So for this, you write the program now. So design already is there here. So gate only they have given in the very beginning. So just you need to write the program. Okay. So look at the answer. So this is the module. Okay. So module, module name is given SR latch. So RS are the inputs, Q and Q bar are the outputs. That is nothing but the list of ports. And then you have declared the ports, input R and S and output Q, Q bar. So then gate level diagram also there, two NOR gates are there. So two NOR gates instantiated. For both date, delay of one is added. So first NOR gate, so what was there in the design? So you had re R and Q bar cross connected. Q bar is there and output is Q. Just you can refer the diagram. And then second NOR gate, you have the Q bar output. So S is the one input and Q, which is the output of first NOR gate. So that will be cross connected here, right? So this is the very simple program and the module. So, so just what you are learning in this example is how you include the delay for the gates and how it will change in the simulation output. Okay, so that is what the intention. So now we'll write the stimulus module for this. So this is the delay included in the design. Again, there is a delay in stimulus module also, okay? So this is same as what you have written previously for all the examples, okay? So stimulus module does not have any much things. So module, module name, inputs will be declared as register and output is declared as wire. So this is the same, what you are doing from previously. Next, you call the design. So design name is SR latch with instance name M1. So now connecting ports by or name format is used. So R to R, S to S, Q to P. So there is no confusion here. Okay. So both we have used the same variables. So it is local to that module. That's why no issues. Okay. Then we have passed the four inputs, right? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So these are the four inputs with a delay of 10 time minutes. Okay. So 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So you know the truth table from that you have to verify the output. And next initial you are writing the monitor statement. So simulation time 
so then it will uh, change the s and r value as it changes it will note the q value in this format okay so simple okay so just you can pause the video and note down the problem uh, program i will continue okay so answer here shown as a wave form okay so you can write it as a just a simulation output also but this is how a model sim will give you the simulation output so this you need to verify okay so this is very simple compared to previous so see here so it is uh, this cursor is there so this is selected at 1 1 position okay so see this first wave form it is for reset second for set so r and s signals so this is the zero and zero convention so this is year 1 and 0 this is year 0 and 1 and then this is the 1 1 state okay so this will keep repeating okay so one of the instances shown here so 0 0 it was showing some red color that means initially there was nothing was there so maybe it is x okay so this is nothing but a x or uh, x stage so then 0 1 so it will uh, set the q output okay so so one zero so one zero means what so set is zero so reset is one that means it will reset that means whatever stage it is there it will come to zero so it is exactly not happening with, with this okay so it is somewhere it is in intermediate state high impedance state it is there from there a little transition happened and this is the zeroth position right so this is the zeroth position so output is zero and that output is with a delay of one right see here so this has happened here but the delay is there see so this is the one second delay and again you have given the uh, 10 units delay also right so including that it will come so q bar will be always uh, reciprocal of this so if it is zero so this will be one okay so that is the idea so then zero one is there so zero one so it is set so output is one but it will take a delay right so it will take a delay of one in the gate and another 10 in the design right so you have given the de uh, delay so that after that it will become one so then one one is given so one one so what will happen it is a illegal state okay so you don't know it will we could not predict the answer see here so this also zero this also zero is coming here this is not possible if it is one so this should come zero if it is zero it should come one so both coming same answer means it is some uh, illegal state okay so it is not allowed meaning okay so this is about the RSLH very simple okay so just two NOR gates cross connected and we have given a one unit delay and we have written the stimulus hope it is clear okay so we'll go to next exercise that is the last exercise in this so design a two to one multiplexer using buff if zero and buff if one gate so they have given already the gate level diagram so no need to write the symbol boolean expression and all so just design they have given just you have to use buff if zero and buff if one gates using the format okay so this is the in one here and this is the in zero and this is the buff if zero gate and this is the buff if one gate what is buff if one means so this gate will pass this input to the output only when one signal will come over here okay so that is the meaning and similarly so this buff if zero will work only when there is a zero coming over here so bubble is there so it will make it into one so in zero will be connected to out. that is what mux is about right so in mux so it is a 2 is to 1 mux so s will take value two values 0 or 1 so if it is 0 so this uh, lower side it will be selected if it is 1 upper side will be selected okay so channels like that so the very simple circuit again so you have only two gates so just you need to write the in proper format okay so out you are writing first then you are writing in 0 and then the control signal is s here so that you have to write and there is a delay here question is not over this is the design i have shown so in the next we have the some more okay so the delay specification gates b1 and b2 are as follows so in this example we are going to see the minimum typical and maximum also how we use in the program we will be seeing so this is the table given so rise time minimum typical and max value one two three fall time minimum typical and maximum value as three four five and turn off delay minimum typical maximum values as five six seven so apply stimulus for this design and test the output values okay so this is what you have to do okay so you note down so pause the video and note down i will 
see the answer so straight away you have to write the program so there is no much design to explain here so module so module name okay max 2 to 1 i have given here then out so what are the inputs are there in one in zero and select line s okay only one then in this only one output you have and remaining three are inputs so that is declared so then i am using the format of the buff if one and buff if zero okay so delay i have used and then i have used the rise delay with minimum typical and maximum values so here colon operator is used in between and there is a comma operator between the each delay okay so this is what you have to follow just the table we are writing 1 is to 3 is to 5 2 is to 4 is to 6 3 is to 5 is to 7 that means so rise delay minimum value was 1 and for this it was 2 and for this it was 3 similarly typical value for uh, in 1 okay so gate above if 1 gate was 3 it is 4 and 5 okay so accordingly this will be written then instance name okay so this is written b2 okay because uh, max uh, select line 0 means this will be select that's why this is given b1 okay so b2 out in 1 comma s so s is 1 in 1 is selected that is the meaning and b1 out in 0 s so if 0 is there so this buffer will be activated okay so this is the program nothing much to crack here okay so this is only the new part here writing the so this also you have seen in the example with respect to this exercise we are writing so very important thing here is simulation output with respect to these delays okay i have the changes of the output so we'll write the stimulus module stimulus module also very same there is no much logic in stimulus module the same logic procedure will follow module module name okay so inputs will be declared as register in one in zero s and wire is out okay out is wire then we will call the instance mx2 is to 1 with m1 again connecting ports by name here in 1 in 1 in 0 in 0 ss out so because both variables we have used the same here so it is allowed initial so we are writing the passing the values now okay so only two values right so select line in 1 in 0 first we have taken value of 0 1 one instance value you have taken in 0 is 1 in 1 is 0 1 0 combination and initially select bit is 0 we have taken okay and then a delay of 10 we have changed it to 1 select line we have just changed 1 and after a delay of 10 again we have changed it to 0 okay so select line plays the very important role in multiplexer okay so then we have written the monitor statement to note down these outputs okay so in 1 in 1 0 and s values and out value will be computed okay so note down this so there is much there is no new things to learn here okay so which is same as previous so just verify the output now this is interesting okay so here there is a delay of 10 and along with you have a delay in program also okay so that we need to consider so this is the output okay so just to see the design so at initially zero so in one is zero and in zero is one this is what we have given right in zero is one select line is zero means which buffer is activated buff if zero right so buff if zero means what so it is the in zero line will be selected okay see the design so in zero one means out should come as one but it is not coming one it is coming x y because there is a delay okay so in the design we have given a delay right so 1 is to 3 is to 5, 2 is to 4 is to 6 and 3 is to, okay. So that typical delay, it will be considered, okay, or minimum delay, okay. So that is 5 at 5 time units. So this value will change to 1. So this is a thing, okay. So with respect to that, because it is a transition from out, out any value to 1, meaning what? It is a rise delay. So it will consider the rise delay typical values okay clear average of the rise value then at a 10 time minutes so in the sim uh, stimulus module we have changed the select line to one so this is what we are making change here select line one means now buff buff if one is selected that means in one value should come there but it is not going to happen so 
okay so what will happen it will uh, be having the previous output itself okay so till uh, 14 okay so at 14 so it will come to again x okay so till that time it will be there and then at 15 as in this case so at 15 the out value will change to 0 okay so just you can verify the table here so how the delay will be then 20 again select line is uh, changed to 0 so now it should come again one but it will be same zero and it up to 23 it will be having x and then at 25 it will become one okay so this is something you need to uh, learn here okay with respect to this delay so this is minimum this is typical and this is maximum okay minimum typical maximum minimum typical uh, maximum okay so this is the fall delay okay and this is the rise delay okay so 1 3 4 4 5 9 9 okay so okay so <coughs> fine so with respect to these delays so the output is uh, changing over there so how it is going to give the very log output clear okay so with this so we are completing the gate level modeling okay so two and half module is also over so next we will see the another type of modeling that is data flow modeling okay so thank you we'll see in the next video